Hello and welcome to worship. Welcome to our special Christian Aid service. Thinking of the work of the charity Christian Aid this week, Christian Aid Week. We think about those people in other parts of the world who are struggling because of climate crisis, unfair trade rules, war and violence. And we think of the work that Christian Aid does to support those communities in finding hope in hard times. We're going to hear today from Janet and Jessica who live in Zimbabwe. Their stories are stories of hope. And I hope that in hearing them, you might have hope too. We're going to come together in prayer. Our prayer will appear on the screen and we say together the words in bold. Creator, Son and Spirit, we gather together online and or in person to seek your presence in our time of worship. We are hungry for you. Meet us at our point of deepest need. Connect us with the needs of others. Equip us to join in your creative work. Transform us into more like your likeness. We are hungry for your righteousness. We gather with Janet and Jessica and their communities in Zimbabwe this Christian Aid Week. May their stories make us hungry for justice and even more impatient for change. We are hungry for your justice. We gather with all of creation, with the mountains and the hills. We shall burst into song with the trees of the field. We will clap our hands. We are hungry to praise you. Amen. We sing together. Let all the world in every corner sing. Are you hungry? What's for dinner tonight? Maybe you're looking forward to fish and chips or pasta or a family meal around the table. This is Jessica Mwidbedzi, a loving mum in Zimbabwe. She fears that her family won't eat tonight. When food is scarce, she can only give her children one bowl of porridge a day. She shares her heartbreak. My children crave a decent meal, but I can't provide it pains me to see them go to bed hungry. For Jessica, drought in Zimbabwe means every day is a struggle for survival. Like many women in Zimbabwe, she toils on her farm, but no food can grow on her ashen dry land. One year we had no rain. The scorching sun burnt my crops just as they were about to bloom. It was painful and disheartening. It's unjust that drought robs Jessica of the power to provide for her family. Her husband is unwell and she is the only breadwinner. 
And she says women are at the mercy of climate change and hunger. Once before, when things were desperate, Jessica asked her neighbours for food, but she came home with nothing. Jessica is hungry. Hungry for a good meal, hungry to earn a decent living, hungry to provide hope for her family. You can help a loving mum turn hunger into hope. Because with Christian Aid's help, she can turn drought-resistant seeds, which will grow into fresh foods like tomatoes, beans and cucumbers to sell and feed her family. She could have the joy of seeing her children grow up happy and healthy. Jessica's love for her family gives courage to stand strong against the threat of drought. My children give me the power to go ahead, she says, and I pray they have a better future. We hear from scripture of Christ's commandment to love one another. And then we hear from a different John. A John who had a vision, a revelation, a dream of what the kingdom might look like when God comes again to earth to be with God's people and the kingdom comes in full with no more tears, with joy, with justice and righteousness all around. John chapter 13 When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now. Where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you. Love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Revelation chapter 21 Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down. For these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. We sing together a Christian aid hymn. The words are on the screen. The tune is really easy to pick up. And although it's one we've never sung before, I'm sure you'll grasp it really quickly. And it talks about God's kingdom, that kingdom and hope for a better future for everyone. I have a voice, you have a voice, we have a voice when we sing together. A line is drawn and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. We heard the cries of distant neighbours, the dispossessed, the refugee, and God's command to feed the hungry and set them free, and set them free. We heard the word, the new commandment. To love the world without condition God's love for all, God's love for all I have a voice, 
We have a voice when we sing together. Clyde is strong and hope reborn. This is the song, the song of kingdom come. A reckless love that knows no borders, that speaks the truth to those in power, that shines a light on cool Janet Zurugo, mother of 10, grandmother of 28, great-grandmother of 8. The four generations of Janet's family, Junior Kadore, great-grandson, Patience Muzingeza, granddaughter, Chipo Zurugo, daughter, Janet Zurugo. Janet's love for her family keeps her going, even in the hardest times. Janet has seen many changes in her lifetime. When we were children, we didn't worry about the challenges ahead. Janet has lived through extreme hardship. Drought has ravaged her village, leaving her community hungry. In the drought, we ate things we wouldn't normally eat. My heart was so painful thinking that my family would die. By God's grace, they did not. Thanks to kind people like you, Janet was given training and drought-resistant seeds. Janet has learned the best techniques to farm in dry land, and her garden has flourished. This project has changed our lives for the better. What makes me happy is to see my family strong and well fed. Janet has become successful through the opportunities she has seized. She is now able to provide for her family. I take them to school because I dream that if they have a good education, they will look after me in the future. God be with me and my family. Please look after them, Lord. 
Look after my livestock, my husband, and me too. Give me strength to fend for my family. You can make donations to Christian Aid online, of course, and you can also make donations through the envelopes and plate at the church. Just ask and we'll make sure that a donation to Christian Aid gets put in for you. Or you can always just put it in an envelope, pop it through the door, and we'll make sure that it gets counted and added to our donations to Christian Aid this week. A new commandment. I give to you to love one another as I have loved you. Almighty God, hear these our prayers for others. We pray today for the work of Christian aid. We pray for the workers across the world coming together with their communities to make the world a better place, to bring your kingdom come, to love one another as you have loved us. Lord God, bless them. Bless the families that they are working with. Bless the communities in which those people live. And help us to do our part in making a difference in their lives. We pray for those in our communities. Those we know who are struggling. Those who are sick. Those who are grieving. Those who are finding life hard just now. Be with them, Lord, and bless them. We pray for our young people in the midst of exams, looking towards transitions to school and high school and college and beyond. Hold them close, O oh God, at this time. We pray for our church in this difficult season in which we find ourselves planning for massive change unlike any other we have ever known in any century of the Church of Scotland. Lord God, be with us. Hear us, O oh God, as we pray with the staff of Christian Aid, saying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. 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 Who is my neighbour? My neighbour is the one in need. My neighbour is the one who calls out whom I can help. Wherever in the world they may be. When I needed a neighbour, were you there? Thank you for joining us for our Christian Aid service. It's been lovely to join with you today. I look forward to hearing all that you're doing for Christian Aid, whether that's campaigning or fundraising, whether it's just making a donation or whether it's something as important as praying for their work and for people like Janet and Jessica who are facing very, very difficult times, not of their own making, but because we in the Western world have not yet grasped the problems of climate crisis and made the changes we need to make. I hope you have a week filled with hope, whatever it is that you're doing. I hope that you stay well and you stay happy. And in all of it, may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and be with those whom you love for this week and forevermore. Amen.